You ready to go? You run surveillance all night last night? Last night, it's kind of late we got home, about nine o'clock. So we are just, and we are just home for today. We got to leave in the morning. But we're gonna get we're out here getting some garden time. It's kind of hot, so I don't know how long we'll be out here. I always got a big, good sized clump of grass here to chew on. We have. Got to do some work in the garden, our very first bed here with the poppies and the garlic. I need to pull the garlic. The poppies are pretty well done. So I'm gonna clean that bed out. Everything else is looking pretty good. I've got a few more, few, got to do some weeding. Got to pick a few things. Got a squash plant here that's not looking good. So I think I'm just gonna take it out just in case it's got something. Zinnias are looking beautiful. Look at how pretty those are. I think the garlic, if I can get the garlic out without disturbing the zinnias, I think the garlic in that bed needs to come out. The tomato plant. Probably need to prune it a little. But look, we have little tomatoes. So that looks good. Got some sunflowers blooming over here. Aren't they pretty? Onions. A couple there. It looks like I probably ought to pull. Yeah, I'll pull one of the garlics. These don't look like they're quite as done as the other ones are, but we'll pull a couple to see. Gosh, these look how pretty. These are the giant zinnias. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. So pretty. Look at that one. The calendula's blooming. I think we're gonna pull some carrots today. Looks like the beans need a little attention. 
the mini zinnias are blooming. They're pretty. They're all mostly pink and white. I had to pull out all the radishes last time I was home. I don't know if I'm going to put anything else in that spot or not. Got a couple of carrots that are bolted over here, so we'll definitely be pulling those out. And some beans. I have some green beans to pick. Look at the height of these sunflowers. They're not even blooming yet. I mean, they're taller than the fence. It's an eight foot fence. And then the peanuts look great. I actually think I'm going to put more peanuts in where the zine or the poppies were. These peas are done pretty much. I'm going to, I'm letting these, I'm letting at this point, I'm, I think I'm going to let these stay in here and go to seed and dry and I'll come back and collect the seeds out of them. They're really too big to eat at this point. So we're going to collect seeds. We'll leave those and collect the seeds. Same on this side, I think. I don't see as many pods over here. So we might just go ahead and pull those out. The ones on the other side still have pods. Yeah, I think I think this side's gonna, I'm just gonna pull those out, they're done. Here are more sunflowers. Look at how tall, look, look, look. I wonder, I'd like to see the, what this one looks like. Oh, isn't that one pretty? I think that's the, that might be a chocolate zinnia, or a chocolate sunflower. Again, these guys are taller than the fence. Aren't they pretty? Some more on this side. Oh, they're all facing the sun, so I can't see them. Got some bees and stuff out here. I just love sunflowers. Gosh, look how tall they are. Pretty sunflowers. Boy, are those guys tall. And over here, look at the Kushaw squash. It's going crazy, and there's little Kushaws on it. See, there's one. This one's trying to, I pulled one of them back through the fence last night, and this one's really, it's growing up the fence. I think I'm going to leave it and see what it does. We got all kinds of little Kushaws. Here's a bigger one down here. Yay! They're kind of like pumpkins, so it'll be a while before they're ready to be picked. That's how our garden is growing. Oh, there's another one. And I need to do some cleanup in here in the ground. I planted, this is miniature clover or micro clover. Um, we were having some erosion issues with the dirt, the water washing off the driveway through, through the garden. I was washing all the mulch away, so there wasn't any point putting more mulch down. Um, so what we decided to try doing is growing this ground cover, this miniature clover, micro clover. We'll see how that does, but I have a bunch of weeds in here also. I don't know if I'm going to bother pulling the weeds or if we're just going to start mowing them, but we'll see how that goes. I moved my table and chair back here temporarily while we were doing the seed. I'm going to be putting a little shed back here. But the, the micro clover is coming up really, really good. I'm, I'm, I really hope this works because I think it'll look nice. It'd be kitty friendly. <laughs> it's kitty friendly, isn't it, Milo? Miss Milo cat. Kind of hot out here today. I think it's supposed to cool off tomorrow, but we have to leave tomorrow. So we have to get out here and do our stuff today. We won't stay out here so long we get hot, hot, so. Right now, Milo's enjoying it, chewing on the grass that's come up and chasing bugs and listening to the birds. Aren't you, Miss Kitty Cat? You enjoying yourself? You get to enjoy yourself while I, while I work in the garden, don't you? Yeah. Over here where I can't see you. There you are. Yeah. Oh, hot and sweaty out here already, aren't we? She just absolutely loves it out here, don't you? Didn't get to come out here much last weekend because we were so busy. 
getting this ground ready for the clover. Clovers, I mean, we just planted this last weekend. It looks great. It looks great. The straw over it to help hold the seed down and keep moisture in on it. And we've luckily had plenty of rain. Clover does look better. I ran out of, I ran out of, of straw over here. But I even see it coming up over here. It's a little slower than where the mulch was. Things look good. There's a dragonfly. Isn't he pretty? So I need to get to work. And we are our load is going to Nebraska. And we'll be headed out with that tomorrow morning. So we will talk to you guys on Monday.